what do people need to be wary of, right? I mean, I think the other question that emerges from a discussion like this for many people is, oh my God, do I need to not eat any fructose, right? This means I can't have any fruit. Uh, you know, tomatoes have fructose in them. By God, I can't have tomatoes, you know. So, so how do we provide some insight to people so that they can figure out how to adjust the dose of something that only is an <laughs> yeah it, it's something that it, by the way is ubiquitous completely ubiquitous uh so if you want to go on a zero fructose diet boy you're going to have a hard time yeah no it's not going to work so how do how do how do people get a sense if they're consuming too much fructose okay so the very first thing i would recommend peter would be to um really try not to drink uh to drink liquids that have a lot of sugar in it so immediately get rid of soft drinks uh, and fruit juices, I would drink minimal because there's a fair amount of fructose in that and it can kind of overwhelm the system. Uh, sports drinks are sort of interesting. Um, some sports drinks ha are relatively low in fructose um, and you know, so maybe they're two to 4% fructose with 4% glucose or 6% glucose. Um, it turns out that when you're exercising- and, and let's explain to people what that means, right? So a 6% okay. glucose yeah. drink means there is 60 grams of glucose per liter. Yeah. So soft drinks are like 11%. They have like 6% fructose and 5% glucose. And that really is bad stuff. Yep. Soft drinks should, I think they should be banned. Right. So that's like 110 grams of total sugar per liter. That's- yeah, yeah, it gives yeah. you a sense so of how sweet huge, that is. Huge, huge, huge amount of teaspoons and teaspoons, teaspoons. So, um, so soft drinks are really bad. Sports drinks um, were developed uh, originally by Bob Cade and, 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 and the invention of Gatorade with the, the fact that, um, that people who are exercising a lot are losing salt, uh, lots of salt in their sweat. They're losing, they're burning up glucose. Uh, and some of them were getting hypoglycemic on the fields. And, and sports drinks were, were really meant to help re replenish the electrolytes and to uh, fix the glucose problem and, um, and, and to provide glucose as fuel for the muscle uh, during these heavy exercise bouts because we often use a lot of glucose during exercise. And so um, the original soft drinks uh, were mainly, I mean, excuse me, the original sports drinks were glucose rich um, and had a lot of salt and, uh, and, and water, of course. And, um, and then uh, they, there were some studies that showed that, you, that muscle, uh, the, the oxidation of glucose could be facilitated by having a little bit of fructose in the drink, that the, having a small amount of fructose actually accelerated glucose uptake. Um, and it, it's working in the gut primarily. And, and, and actually your performance was increased by having small amounts of fructose, like one to 2%, maybe 3% fructose. And, um, and the optimal glucose from sports drinks was found to be around five or 6%. Um, now some sports drinks actually have more fructose in it because it tastes better. And so that's a problem, a little bit of a problem. But it, 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 you know, if you're out there exercising, if you're do, using it for what it's meant for, which is a sport, and you're really, uh, you know, I think sports drinks for the most part are, are fine. But if you're drinking sports drinks in front of a TV watching, uh, you know, a movie, and uh, you're drinking a lot of this stuff, it probably is not good. So, um, so but in getting back to other things. Um, I want to go back to the, the uh, juices. Um, yes. if, if I take oranges and I yeah. squeeze them into, you know, I put my little juice squeezer and I yeah. ratchet it down and I just make concentrated orange juice. What is the concentration of glucose and fructose in orange, freshly squeezed orange juice? It's pretty, pretty significant. It's probably about two thirds of a soft drink. Um, if you made it with apple juice, it's apple juice is so sweet. It's equivalent to a soft drink. Um, and so you can get a lot of sugar with, from uh, juice, unfortunately. So the Pediatric Society a long time ago realized that juice has so much fructose that it was being associated with obesity in children. So they made uh, recommendations to limit fruit juice to like six ounces or less uh, for uh, adult, I mean, for older children in like four 
ounces or so for really small children. And I think that that we should even limit it more. And fruit juice is, I think, a, a, a real problem in, in children because of all the sweetness of sugar that's in it. This podcast is for general informational purposes only and does not constitute the practice of medicine, nursing, or other professional healthcare services, including the giving of medical advice. No doctor-patient relationship is formed. The use of this information and the materials linked to this podcast is at the user's own risk. The content on this podcast is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Users should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice from any medical condition they have, and they should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions. Finally, I take conflicts of interest very seriously. For all of my disclosures and the companies I invest in or advise, please visit peteratiamd.com forward slash about, where I keep an up-to-date and active list of such companies.